Welcome back everyone. I'm Melissa with Missy's Castle Dreams and today we're going to be working on a resin tray that once we finish will also have a handle on each side. Now what I've decided to do for this tray is I'm going to be using a pink and gold theme on this tray and so what I first want to do is I have my silicone mold tray here and it's on my silicone mat. I've already mixed up my resins here with my different colors and for my pink I have used a glitter inside of my resin and then for my gold and my pearl I've used a mica powder for both. I've used a pearl and a yellow gold. Okay so I've mixed those all in here. I just kind of keep stirring. All right, so now the first thing I'm going to want to do um, with my design is I'm going to take this pink and I am just going to lightly go right around my edges. Now, if I don't get it right on the edge, I'm not that worried. I just want it nice and around all here. go back make sure I hit all my spots okay and then once I've done that what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my little heat gun give it a little blast all around there really quick all right, now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to take my yellow gold and go right over where I had already gone with my pink. as it starts moving into my center I'm going to take some of this pink glitter just kind of go right here and zigzag that in a little bit and then I'm going to take my pearl And come right up the middle and zigzag across that glitter like that and it's gonna push Now that I've gotten that done, I again I'm gonna take my heat gun. I'm gonna pop any of those bubbles that I see. And I'm gonna take my stick here, zigzag across there, break up any little glitter spots that are clumping together. What I like about these trays is there's there's no same design and they're all imperfect. Just kind of make them up as we go. I like to do a little bit of swirl. I still have a little bit of this gold left and I think I'm just going to come right in here and add that gold. Okay. 
Okay. And again, I'm just going to swirl. I love the look this is going to give us at the very end when it cures. Okay. We're just going to make sure we flattened everything out there. All right, so now all we're going to do is we're going to have to wait and let this cure. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. So our resin tray has had a full day to cure. So now we are going to take it out of the mold and have a look at it. All right. So as you can see, you have two sides that you can choose from. I actually like this side the best, so I think I'm gonna use this side to attach my two handles to, which we will do that in just a minute. Okay, so now what I wanna do is attach both of my handles, and I just use epoxy that I have here and I am going to apply that here on the bottom of my handles. Okay, and then I'm gonna come right over here set them down on my tray. Now let's do the other one. And I'm also going to let these cure for a day so they can harden and attach. Okay. So now that I've got my handles in place, I'm going to leave those there for a day for them to attach and then we'll come back and check on them in a day. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are back here today and our tray has had another day to cure and so now our handles are nice and secure on our tray. So now we will be able to take it in and put it to good use. <laughs> 